What's going on everybody, Bren here, and this bad boy is a project that I've been working on for the last nine months. This is a water-cooled PlayStation 4 Pro model 7015B. This is a launch, this is an OG Pro that, I, that I've had since launch. Now, the backstory on this is I've always been a hands-on person. I enjoy working on things. And I love video games and uh, working on my consoles and cleaning them, maintaining them. So I was like, you know what? I've seen pictures of people that have done it. So you know what? I want to I wanna do it. So just to go over the parts, all the parts that I used, uh, this case is a Cooler Master 300. I'm sorry, a Q300L. The reason I went with this case is the big part was the price. It was uh, roughly about $40 on Amazon, I believe. And I didn't want to go with too big of a case um, just for the PlayStation, which <laughs> in hindsight, now I'm wishing I would have gone with a bigger case. Um, but it also has a mod modular io panel that can be moved to 104 positions right in the center here um the power supply is an evga 650 g5 i went with this one i got this on facebook marketplace i got it used it was still in really good condition um i went with a 650 watt because the PS4 Pro, I believe, operates two, two to 300 watts. And I wanted to make sure I stayed right around that 50% range of uh, power supply usage. That way I didn't go over. Plus, I still had other things that I still wanted to run off of it. And I didn't want to tax the power supply that much. So, the flow meter here. has a built-in temp gauge as well and that is from a company called bike ski uh on amazon b y k s k i i went with this one because i like i liked the way it looked i liked that it had a flow meter and temperature and it wasn't going to require any any other wiring than right to i believe a spot on the fan hub well we'll look at it on the back side the fans is a, a pvsc 0512l 120 millimeter blue led fans uh, i went with those ones just i didn't once again i didn't want to Large too much on my first time project especially on something as fans um and they had the blue led i like blue led so the hard lines here are corsair hydro xt hard lines i went with these ones these were recommended by uh a youtube channel jay's two cents Uh, the pump, this is a pump tank combo. Uh, uh, it's a freeze mod. On Amazon, is, Amazon says it's from a company, Be Winner, but I've also seen six other listings with this same exact part. So I just went off of the name that's on the part itself, which it's called freeze mod. It's been really good. It's been fairly quiet. Once I got all the air bubbles out of the system, it was fairly silent, even for having uh, some of the Amazon reviews were saying how noisy it was, but I haven't had any problems so far with it. So 
And I filled all this with uh, Corsair XL8 coolant. I know I said I kind of cheaped out and skipped on some parts because this was my first time project, but I went with the Corsair stuff because it was highly um, reviewed on Amazon and stuff. So this the disk drive is mounted right back here behind the motherboard. Perfect. Now, this bad boy has to stay on here because <laughs> the cuts don't look the greatest but there's my opening for the disk drive um now obviously with this off it would get a lot more intake on the air but then you'd have the horrible view of that so that bad boy will just stay on there move around to the back side and <laughs> please please forgive me this isn't done yet i know this is something that drives a lot of people crazy from what i've read the cable management is still a mess um and the reason is is once i got this thing running properly and i got the temperatures down and it wasn't overheating i just I fired it up, I played on it. I was like, oh man, I gotta get the video going for this. So, but this is a Samsung 870 QVO. One ter it's just a one terabyte. Um, I didn't wanna go too big because uh, I do most of my gaming over on my PlayStation 5. So, um, the fan controller here is just a no name as well as Forgive me, I didn't bring this up. There's a 120 millimeter radiator mounted right here. That's why this fan sits lower than this one over here. These are both uh, no-name brands that I just picked up on Amazon fairly cheap. Um, but this bad boy right here, and this this bad boy is what is what is keeping the temps down so I can play this thing for hours with no problems. This is a Noctua NH-L9i 17 Chro Max. It is a low profile CPU cooler that I have mounted to two aluminum plates that are also mounted to this CPU block, which I'm sorry, I didn't bring that up either. This is also a, a no-name brand that I picked up on eBay. Um, this bad boy, before this, I was having a hard time with a cooling solution for the RAM chips. Because anybody who knows the PlayStation 4 Pro, that baby runs hot. Um, and I had tried several other things and I was... I was like, oh, you know what? I may not have enough room to fit a low profile CPU cooler. I've been a Sony boy my whole life. Um, and just, I don't really know a whole lot about <laughs> PC building and cooling and stuff. So it that didn't even dawn on me at first. So I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have had to run lines to the back side because then I knew I was going to have to try and fit another radiator somewhere on here. So, um, and then I have antennas coming so I can clean up this mess right here. These are the three stock antenna wires that come on here. They're going to get mounted. I'm going to push these tabs back and mount uh, the antennas here on these three holes. So, now i said that you know when i got this thing running and i got it uh stable i say stable like it was a, once i once i was able to run it and keep the temps at a nor relatively normal level i had to think of a game that i was going to play for several hours that would tax the system a little bit and for that i decided on fallout 76 and the reason i went with fallout 76 was this was of course we had the show that just came out um so i knew there was going to be a surge of new players as well as people returning to the game 
Uh, it's an open world game with a, I believe it's a maximum of 24 other players on the map. And it also has a very active environment as well as many enemies on the screen as well. Now I played it for about three, three and a half hours. Um, and it maxed out at 38.2 degrees Celsius, according to the, the, uh, flow meter here but i know that it was a little hotter up here because as you can see the flow meter is mounted on the return well i'm sorry after the return after it goes back into the the uh, tank and it gets pumped back in so i know it's a little hotter up there so my final thoughts would i do this again oh hell yeah i would definitely do this again I had a Dark Souls relationship with this project. I hated that I loved it. And I also love to hate it. Or however you want to make that make sense. This thing it just trying to fit all of this in here. And have room and make it look presentable. I would definitely do it again. But I would move this PS4 Pro to a bigger case which I know would mean I'm going to have to go with a bigger hard drive because the disc drive, there's no way. Sony had very specific specs with these ribbon cables. Um, and the ones that the aftermarket ones that I bought and tried, I got nothing but read errors from the disc drive. So it would end up being a PS4 pro digital, which is pretty much how gaming's going nowadays. Anyways, especially on PlayStation when you have PlayStation Plus, but I, I'm not gonna go off on a tangent and on into that. So I would probably save this for a different console, maybe a PS3. Um, I thought about that because I do have one hanging around. So all in all, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed every second of this. I would, I hated it too. But I had a lot of fun and I would definitely do it again. Um, different color scheme, different patterns, stuff like that. Maybe with the Fallout stuff, do, you know, I thought about doing different themed ones like Cyberpunk and Fallout, Final Fantasy, you know, just, you know, ideas rolling around in my head. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this and want to see more like this, uh, please like, subscribe. Um, I definitely have another project that I'm thinking of now that I have a hollow PlayStation 4 Pro shell. I had an idea of trying to fit a, uh, a small form gaming PC in that. So it's going to take some planning, but I got to do some financial recovery after diving into this project for the last year. So please like subscribe, share, um, if you enjoyed it, definitely please like it. If not, go ahead and hit that dislike button as well. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.